This is Severe MMA. We're here at Golden Ticket Fight Promotions, and we're alongside Bama fighter Jai Herbert. And Jai, you know, it's been it, it seems like it's been such a long time since the last Bama fight, just because they've had the break. Well, then they've got Dublin, but come May, Bama 25, Tony Morgan. Tony Morgan. Yeah, yeah. This has got to be a fight you're excited about. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited about the fight. Yeah, I'm Tony Morgan from Manchester Predators, I believe. Um, yeah, tall lad, powerful. Likes to stand and bang, so it should be an entertaining fight. It, you know, it, it, we're looking at paper, and then we've seen we've seen Tony fight before. Yeah. You know, it seems stylistically you guys are quite quite similar. Yeah, is, that, yeah, yeah. It, it, is that what you're looking? Are you looking for somebody who's yeah. going to just stand and, and and go? Well, I think you know when you fight someone um, who's the quite the similar, you know what I mean. Brings probably I can let, get let my style off, let my boxing flow, and then you know what I mean. Helps me sort of thing. You know, I. I I've got under. I've said it before. I say it again. I think in terms of lightweight prospects in in the European UK MMA scene, you've got to be firmly in the in the top ten of those. I think yeah. twelve and zero if you count all your fights. Uh, ten amateur, I think, wins. Two and zero, three and zero is a pretty. You know, the world's your oyster, but you're in a division that's stacked. You know, what what are your views on on the UK light lightweight division? Um, it's wicked, man. Yeah, you got some um, really top fighters. You know what I mean? Uh, in Bama. Loads in there, you got play like FCC, um, F, yeah, 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 loads of top fighters, man. Yeah, I'm going to name a few of them because I want to know, you know, once you're done with Morgan, he's an exciting fighter, yeah, you're yeah, an yeah. exciting fighter, but let's, you know, it goes the way you want it to. The world is your, are you, are you starting to think about the, the Bama Lonsdale title at all? You yeah, of course cool, cool, I am, yeah, I'm going to be mad not to, you know what I mean? Um, obviously, if you win that title, then you get to go on to better things, though, yeah, bigger and better things, which is obviously UFC. Well, that's what, if you're in, if you're in this sport, that's what you want to get, don't you? So that's what I want to be. Well, the current champion's Mark Dickey. Yeah, obviously, yeah, he, he's, our champion. Yeah, he's got a fight on that night against Kane, Kane Musa. Yeah. That's potentially uh, with a with a good with a good performance by you. That could yeah, potentially yeah. be your next opponent. Who do you like in that fight for you? <laughs> oh, for me? Yeah, um, for you. Do you know what? The both them both um, quite similar. They're both quite. Um, Powerful, athletic guys. You know what I mean. So the both quite similar. So it doesn't really matter, does it? I'm trying to book fights for you. It oh, seems yeah. like you know. Here, here I am. Whoever's got the belt, whoever wins and gets the belt. But you know, is, is, is that is that realistic? Am I am I maybe moving you a fight or two ahead of the pace you want to go, or is the Lonsdale title at the end in 2016 your goal? Yeah, 2016 um, and the 2016 to get to fight for that Lonsdale title. Definitely, man. Yeah. Once you're done with that. <laughs> uh, you know, because again, we look at the. You got to look at this division, really. Once you're done with that, then the competition are people like Andre Winner. It's like your yeah, 50 cows. It's like yeah. your Damon Frankenstein Laplace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to ask you to be big-headed and stuff, but you, you know, you can hang with those guys now. You feel? Well, to be honest, I, I don't want to. No, nah, you got to. No, I don't, no, I don't, don't want to blow, uh, blow my own trumpet or get bigger than anything. But I think I'm. I think I'm like pretty decent, you get me? Pretty, yeah, striking wise, you know what I mean? I think I don't see, see him much ahead of me, like, to be honest. I'm going to ask you to pick the Kane fight, the Kane and Mark Diakese fight. Who's going to win? Yeah, who do you think is going to win? Who do you think you're going to face for the Lonsdale title? Um, Go on, I don't know. I'm going to put your money where you're at. We're not going to hit pause. We're going to let this silence roll. Probably, uh, who do you think is going to win? Yeah. Uh, probably Mark Diakese. I think he'll just. I just think he'll just find a way to win. Not to be honest. And that's potentially your next opponent. Uh, an opponent you'd like. For. Okay. So let's. We've seen you fight. We know that what you you bring to the table. You bring smooth striking, great transitions. Your takedown defense is ever yeah, uh, ever improving. Dia Casey is a known grinder. He, yeah, you know, yeah, the, yeah. look at the Jack McGann fight. That's what I mean. Yeah. What kind of Found what kind of a there, fight yeah. would you expect with Dia Casey and how? Same, the same kind of he had with Jack Grant, I think. Yeah. Um, I'll try and uh, move around a lot more, you know what I mean? So he'd um, get hold of me. And he's my striking. Let's go to Tony Morgan, because when we've interviewed him in the past, he yeah. said he's the most exciting fighter to come out of Predators, which is a, it's a pretty big statement. It's a good gym. Does he bring anything to the table, though, that you haven't seen before? Um, uh, I don't know. Do you know, to be honest with you, I thought his, ma um, his mate is uh, James Ducky, too, from the same yeah. gym. And um, he's pretty similar to him, to be honest with you. So, yeah. Is there a finish in this one? Well, hopefully. I was going there to finish, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't go in there to get points. I'm going there to stop my opponent. 
let's uh, while we've got while we've no while we've got you now while we've got you because again this is a pre-fight for Bama and we know what your ambition is you want the Lonsdale title at the end of 2016 Jude watches Matt watches you know this is the chance for you to make that that claim with your performance but they're going to want to know it's it's the quiet man that gets overlooked nowadays I think oh yeah, you bought, yeah. so tell them why you're the best kid why you're if, why you're going to be why you are the number one contender for the Lonsdale title uh, cuz because I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a bad boy, innit? I'm just a bad man. 